Hello, Jackie Roby here, Chief Excellence Officer of Inspire Journey Consulting. And I'm so excited to have Troy Irwin here, co-owner of The Custom Path. So Troy and I were both participants in the Transformational Travel Council's designer program. And unlike me, he is a travel designer. So really excited to learn more about the unique things that he and his wife, Jody who owns the business with him, what they're doing. So, welcome, Troy. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Thanks very much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Oh, absolutely. So tell us first and foremost, tell everybody where you are, because obviously I'm in the dark and you are not, luckily. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually in Australia and I'm on the east coast of Australia, just south of Byron Bay. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's just been raining for about a week. And so everything's all damp and but still warm. It's coming up to summer. We live in a little town. It's got 3000 people. It's one of those sort of postcard style fishing village, fishing villages. We've still got fishing trawlers and things like that in the harbor so it's really cute that's beautiful i love it so the custom path what inspired uh you to start it and what tell us more about what you do Look, the custom path was quite a few years coming jackie and we're really excited about how it's turning how it's turning out I, my background is in international development and community development. I've had a, a long um, career in contributing to communities and trying to help them to make their own lives better. And I came to a point um, where I thought, wow, I've, I've got to do my own thing. I've got to do my own business. But I just didn't really know what my business was was going to be all about. So I took a, a year off and I had a really good long think about what my values were, what my priorities were, and how I could make a business around, I know it's a bit cliched these days, but how I could make a business around what my passions are. And what I came up with is that I'm really excited about a couple of things. One is travel and one is personal growth. I've really been interested in personal growth for a long time. And another passion is travel. And Jody and, and I, you know, we've done a lot of travel. And this travel started off from package tours many years ago to cruises. And we really found that what excited us and what made the biggest difference to us was Travel that was self-directed, travel that we did ourselves. We, we worked out our own itinerary and worked out our own direction and things we would do during the day. And so what we wanted to do was to combine a love of personal growth with our love of self-directed travel to help people to design their own travel, their own transformational travel to make a difference to themselves, the communities they visit, and to the environment. That's amazing. So you found yourself um, associating then with the Transformational Travel Council, becoming an ally, and joining the designer program. How has participating in that program changed how you do business? Well, the TTC have been fantastic. When we started this business, we were just starting out blind and we really jackie didn't we really didn't have a tribe of like-minded people around us we were searching i guess and 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 trying to seek and trying to find people who shared the same beliefs and same ideals as us and i came across tanner and jacob at the TTC just through a web search. And then I connected up with those guys and it was absolutely amazing. It just blew me away. I thought, wow, finally, this transformational travel, this is a thing. And the designer course 
it was really fantastic for me because it helped me put some structures and some words around the programs and the travel itineraries that I'd been supporting people to design. I found the course absolutely um, fantastic to, to give a step-by-step -step structure, the, the planning, the pre-departure, the trip and the return and putting structures and ideas and processes around that to create a travel experience that was going to help people to grow and to lead more fulfilling lives for me was absolutely fantastic. And through the designer program, I was really excited because, because of my belief in self-directed travel through the designer program, we at the custom path have developed a suite of products that are do-it-yourself products that help people to design their own experience right from that planning pre-departure stage and most importantly on the return how to embed and make sure that the growth and the changes that they experience during their time away continue on and continue contributing to their lives and other people's lives long after they return see i think that's so phenomenal that you and your business already embodied everything and this was like coming home that's a really nice way of putting it jackie it felt so so comfortable and it, it's it felt as though it was just helping us to bring it all to together and it really did feel it fit so so well and we're really excited the people that that we work with who take on the um you know the the self-directed deeper travel kit you know, they have you know such fun doing it and they have fun doing it but they also have challenges along the way and it's really interesting following people's journeys and supporting them through those journeys through our facebook groups to help them to really Get the most out of it and you know what it's invariably what makes such a difference to people is the idea of contribution the idea and and the actions that they take to contribute to the community to the environment that they're going to visit yeah it's really exciting stuff i love it and that journey inside as well you know you talk about growing and being able to look within and really providing that. I think it's interesting and important how you've created a guide for people, a, a DIY, a do-it-yourself for, for that deeper level of travel in all aspects. That's something really special. Yeah, look, um, thanks for saying that. And it really is. It seems to be a, a type of person that's really interested in transformational travel, particularly do-it-yourself transformational travel. Because for most people, you know, the biggest transformation happens through connection. And when people think about and they're intentional about the way that they connect with others and who they want to be in them in relationship to other people, whether it's their travel partners, whether it's people they meet on the street, whether it's whether it's just strangers who invite them into their lives, having that intentionality, having a deliberate focus to make those changes and that personal growth really leads to, you know, people really lead more fulfilling lives because of that. I'll give you an example. One of the one of the, the things that that I like to encourage people to do when they're designing their trip is to choose pop-up rules, right? So the the travel designer or the deeper travel kit starts off with a a program to discover your personal character strengths. And my personal character strength, one of them is independence. And that's really good in a lot of ways. But it can cost me 
connection with other people. One of the pop-up rules that I set for myself the last time I was traveling, last time I was traveling in um, Vietnam, it was actually, I set myself a rule that when I was talking to someone, when I was engaging with someone, if they invited me somewhere or invited me for a meal or invited me to go somewhere with them, I would accept that no matter what other plans I I had going, I would accept that invitation. And it was really scary and it was really challenging because those conversations, particularly when um, you're mixing with people with different languages, different cultures, it can be a little bit awkward. It can be a little bit uncomfortable. But I set the intention to move past that. I set the intention to challenge myself, to lean into that discomfort. And I had some awesome experiences. And I still have friends that I had just met in um, a restaurant one night who asked us out to a different restaurant the, the night after. And I'm still in contact with those people now. And they're some of the most beautiful experiences. But the key that we're talking about is that personal growth. I've been able to take that courage, I, I guess. I've been able to take that courage to say yes and put myself in those difficult situations. And that's really helped me lead a more fulfilling um, life. My, my connections and my relationships, because of the challenge that I gave myself when I was traveling, have really deepened since I've come back from that travel and continued on that practice. So it can be really powerful as well as fun. I'm honestly so impressed. That is an extraordinary challenge to give yourself and to meet and follow through with. And what I see in how you're designing your, your kids and the way you live your life and the way that you travel, it creates awareness for more inclusivity. Yeah, look, and it, really does. There is absolutely no way I think that that you can undertake deeper travel, transformational travel, and not grow and step forward on the path of inclusivity and that self-awareness of where we are as individuals on our path of inclusivity and our relationship with people from other um, cultures, our ingrained biases, if you, if you like, towards other cultures, they really come out and they're amplified when you travel, if you're um, intentional about it and if um, you're reflective about it. And that's really an opportunity not to give yourself, you know, a bit of grief to say, oh, I was a little bit unfair about, you know, a whole race of people or I, I had previous ideas about a whole race of people that I realize now are, are wrong. The idea is not to give yourself grief, but to accept where you are and grow and move past. And, and inevitably what it does, it makes you feel like a better person and it brings people into your life that weren't there before. And it just makes life so much more fulfilling. So yes, inclusivity really comes from transformational travel through transformational travel and growing as a person and becoming more accepting and loving of differences that other cultures and other people have. It's phenomenal. I absolutely agree. So Troy, tell us where can everybody find you? Look, we are pretty easy to find. The easiest place would be our website, thecustompath.com. You can find us on Instagram at thecustompath, and all those links are um, on our website as well. Facebook, The Custom Path as well. We should be pretty easy to find. We love talking to travelers. They, my favorite conversations are sharing experiences about travel and hearing people's experiences of travel. So drop us a line, drop us an email, shoot us a message on Facebook or through the, the website. We'd love to hear from you. That's amazing. I love the conversations. It's, it sounds exciting and it makes me want to keep talking. 
Um, and anybody who's subscribed to Inspire Journey Consulting's newsletter, I'll also be sending out all of this additional information and links. So, Troy, thank you. I'm so grateful for your time. Thanks, Jackie. I appreciate it as well. I enjoyed talking to you. Can't wait to do it again. Exactly. And until next time, stay inspired.